let's start listing those medications and see what, what are they, right? Let's start listing them. So I give you this. Right, I will list them. Right, try to see if we can recognize them, right? Try. I don't expect you to know all of them, but try as much as possible. I'll just type them up and keep on looking at them and see if you can recognize something, right? Something about them. These are like the first four medication, right? Right. Tries for maybe I'll add one more. Um but we just recognizing them, you know. I don't want you to worry too much about them. Just be able to recognize that oh, this is this medication. That's all. I'm not trying to make it hard. You know, man, don't worry too much about it. Right. What do you think is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one? And try to see there will be something common to them. If you can figure out, look at their last names and you can just think about it like this may be related to something I know. You can see that these are all looking the same. There's something common about them. And what do you think? What do you think? What class of medication do you think they belong to? You know, is some sexual dysfunction, right? Um, weight gain, suicide, ideation. Okay. Those are the things the body is going to ask you. And after two days, uh, uh, one week or two weeks of medication, you need to see this patient and figure out what is wrong with them. You see, you know it, SSRI. Velofacin is also another antidepressant. That is SSNR, SNRI, you see, SNRI, which is, it doesn't matter whether you know it's SR. You can see this is an antidepressant. It's also an antidepressant. Therefore, you go to the same procedure, right? Then look at it that one. Trazodone. If you don't know anything about trazodone, there's only one thing you have to know. First of all, how do you classify them? What do you think? Trazodone, what, what medication is it? It's also an antidepressant, but it's atypical. It's atypical antidepressant. It's two things you have to know about this medication. There's only two things. Okay, two things you should know. Is one of those medication that is used for people who cannot sleep, okay? If you have insomnia, yeah, we can give it to you. Most antidepressants will make you sleepy. This one is good for insomnia. But it's, the body is not going to ask you for that. There's one thing they will go ask you. What do you think? What is that med uh, information about trazodone? You should never forget if you're taking your boards, right? Priapism. And what is priapism? It's like sustained erection. Sustained erection of more than two hours. You have to go to the emergency room. Otherwise, you have necrosis. And therefore, this is an emergency. It's an emergency. Anybody who has sustained erection taking trazodone, it's an emergency. That is the most common thing your board is going to ask you. So don't forget about that. Trazodone, it can be used for insomnia. It's also used for uh, a side effect is priapism. You see, that's the prioritization for you. Okay, so don't forget that. Then the last one, perfinizine. What do you think? Perfinizine. That is the only medication that is left. What does it look like? And can you figure out what kind of medication is it? 
first of all, pharmacology, the way to master pharmacology is not to memorize them. If somebody tells you that, then forget about it. You got to find the class of medication. If you put it in the class, then you use the generalized information about that class, right? It's a class of medication, fefinism. You truly know one thing about it, but the only thing you need to know is figure out what kind of class of medication is it. It's an antipsychotic, excellent. This is an antipsychotic. It's an antipsychotic. Therefore, if you recognize it, you see that you already know the information about that medication. That's what you need to do. Antipsychotic, perfinism. The first thing you know is it's an antipsychotic. Therefore, you can know everything about that medication. It's not an MOI, it's not anything. It's not SSRI, it's an antipsychotic. So that is the way I want you guys to start approaching these kind of questions. Um, you look at the medication and you're trying to figure out if you can figure out. Propopium and Buspiron. I want you to know it, you know I thought this, these two. They look the same, your board is going to confuse you. So Buspiron and Bupropion. These two, they are two different medications. I will give you the first one. The first one is anxiolytic. So it's anxiolytic, it's for anxiety, but it's atypical anxiolytic. What do you think is Bupropion? This is one class of medication. This is an antidepressant, okay? But it's atypical, atypical antidepressant. They both have specific side effects. Okay. There's one thing you can use bupropion is for smoking cessation. So pay attention to that. But there's one side effect of that medication that you should know. Okay. It's not sedative. You should not give it to somebody with anorexia and then bipolar patient. Don't you think your board is going to ask you about that? Three things you should know about it. Very, very important. Okay. The Buspiron, what is special about it? No sedation. And you can drive with it. You can drive. You can drive with it. That's Buspiron. And it's no sedating, and it's, you can drive with it. How about the other three? You see? So these are a few ways I'm trying to guide you how to learn. These are the few ways. Now, you have three, teotizin, selaginin, and imipramine. Try as much as possible to recognize it. Recognize the medication as much as possible. Let me give them clarity for you. Okay, first let's start with Imi Prami. The last name is Imi Prami, right? This is Prami. Most medication that start with what? Prami. What do you think they are? I want you to master it, right? This, how can you recognize it? The last name is Prami. You see the last name? That's classic for TCA, tricyclic antidepressant. Tricyclic antidepressant. And what is the uh, side effect of that? I call it the dance, okay? The dance, dermatitis, anticholinergic, neurological problem, and cardiac. So that's a big problem that you should know for your boards. That medication you should know. How about this one? Teotizin. Teotizin. Who can recognize that medication? I see an answer. Somebody said antipsychotic. This is the first generation antipsychotic. Excellent. First generation. That means you've mastered that content. And therefore, if you know it, 
you already know what it is. You know all the side effects of first generation antipsychotic, EPS, NMS, anticholinergic, so many side effects. You don't even have to memorize it. You just know this is a first generation antipsychotic. The number one side effect is NMS. Therefore, you know when he asks you, you figure out. This is not a benzo. Benzo starts with the last name of Pam, right? Lamb and all those things. So this is not it. And the selaginine, everybody knows, MOIs, monoamine inhibitors. And then you think about hypertensive crisis, hypertensive agency, all those signs and, signs and symptoms related to not eating uh, and tiring food. This is where it comes from. And that's what your board will be asking you when you see that, okay? When you see that, that's what your board is going to ask you for, right? So that's that medication. Now, let's go down to this group of medication. What do you do with this one? Who can put them in their marani, right? So these are all second generation antipsychotic. Do you have to memorize them? No, you know them and therefore you know that, oh, they have the same side effect, right? Weight gain, right? Hyperlipidemia, right? Diabetes, right? QT prolongation. This is why I said pharmacology shouldn't be memorized. I put these group people into one group, second generation antipsychotic. And I know what second, second generation antipsychotic does. Example is this. This is keep typical example of how to learn pharmacology. I give you calcium channel blocker, like uh, um, calcium channel blocker. I give you nitrate, right? These two medication do the same thing, right? Calcium channel blocker, like nephedipine, nitrate. I give you isosorbide modal nitrate. They are the same. They are all going to cause what? Flushing, right? They're going to cause edema because of the way they work. Right? They're going to cause hypotension, right? It's the same thing. You should not worry that I need to know this medication or put them in the group. All these guys are all antipsychotic, second generation. You put them in one group, then you're done. So on the screen, you can see that you can now connect the dot. Did I get you connecting the dot? Yes, we have. Paracetin is an antidepressant, right? Delucetin, antidepressant, right? Trazodum, antidepressant. Perfinism is antipsychotic, right? It goes with here, right? And this is the all first generation antipsychotic. I see this guy, I say, second generation antipsychotic. I see MOI here, emipramine. -M -M I put them in one group. And then you figure out the side effect. All you need to do is pair them. It's just matching, right? 12, 13. See if you can pair them. So let's start. The easiest one, right? The easiest one, right? We see paracetine, right? We see delucetine. Right, and see philosophy. These are antidepressant, but these two are SSRI. This is SNRI. But it doesn't matter. You know it. You can just um, put them in the group. They are SSRI, serotonin derivative. They cost the same thing. Right? Now, look at this. This trazodone and metazepine, they are almost the same. They also can be used for insomnia if you're not sleeping, right? They are not, um, does not cause too much sexual dysfunction. Trazodone causes propizine, met metazepine doesn't, but they are all atypical antidepressant, right? Atypical antidepressant. And I told you about perfinizine. Perfinizine, perfinizine matches 
to what? His friend, his dowry. Pro promising. You see the last name? You see Zin. And then Zin. Pro, pro, plural, prophet, mazin. This is like the same. This is first generation anti psychotic. You see clozapine here. It matches with this. This is like third generation or second generation, but this is second generation antipsychotic. Now, the two, the word for that is left belongs to you. Can you figure out, can you pair them? Can you see who and who belong to each other? When you know that, you just put them in the class. So you have seven, eight, 13, and 10. What kind of medication are they? That is true. Seven and 10 are MOIs. So seven and 10 are MOI. And eight and 12 are TCA. You might, everybody master. That's excellent. Those who answer that, very good. If you're able to, for you, but that means you master your um, mental health pharmacology. These are add medication to recognize it. So you know it. So you know it's a MOI. Do you have to know what trypt no, tryptylin is and what amazepine? No. You just put them in the group. You know this is TCA. And when you know TCA, you just write the side effect of TCA. So it applied to amazepine and then no tryptylin. If you know isocarboside and uh, this guy, they are the same, then you put them together. You just put them together. You say, oh, this, this guy and that guy, they are the same. Therefore, side effect is MOI. I worry about tyramine food and therefore A cheese, right? You worry about salami, red wine, uh, avocado, banana, anything that is tiring me. Worry about hypertensive uh, agency. And that is how you do mental health pharmacology. Don't let it disturb you. Don't let it worry you. Just figure out how you can pair them and do this puzzle every day. You can figure out, then you, if you can recognize it, trust me, if they ask you a question, your brain will tell you, oh, I've seen this uh, medication before on adapt and class trazodone and no and metazepine atypical antipsychotic this is what i'm looking for paracetine flacetine delucetine it sound the same they are all sitting where did they going sitting ssri what should i worry about suicide ideation weight gain and other things but number one suicide and serotonin syndrome that's all this is the way you should study mental health pharmacology.